Okay, the iOS 17 beta is now out and I have been playing around with iOS 17 and I have been doing my best to try and discover features that weren't really talked about too much at Apple's uh, WWDC keynote. So I try my best to find the best hidden features in iOS 17 and, you know, also cater this video around features that I personally like. So without further ado, let's get into them and start exploring some hidden features in iOS 17. All right, and here it is, iOS 17. Now, one of the features I wanna talk about is something I haven't really seen mentioned anywhere else, and that is the fact that the camera now has a built-in leveler. So I'm gonna open up the camera app, and I'm just gonna hold this up straight. You're not gonna be able to see, I, I took a screen recording though, but now see that, see that bar right there? That is a leveler. So now I can make sure that my photo is straight, but then if you see, if I start to rotate it, it is not straight. So that is going to be super helpful when taking photos. And you can see, if you go into settings and you go into camera, you'll now see this new option for the level. So even if you don't like it, you could turn it off and then turn off the leveler uh, in iOS 17, but I love this feature, so I'm keeping it. Okay, another hidden feature in iOS 17 is the fact that you can now zoom in to crop on photos. So basically, all you do is you go into the Photos app, find a photo, right? Here's a beautiful pizza, and then just pinch to zoom in, and you'll see the crop button appear in the top right of the phone. So once you find the zoom you like, hit that crop button, and it automatically crops. I am cropping in on photos all the time, so this is going to save me so much time uh, in iOS 17. It's a great little feature. Speaking of photos in iOS 17, this is another super handy feature, and that is the fact now, when you go into a photo of, say, like a pet, like a dog, uh, you can now see there's a dog icon right here on the bottom. When you click that, it's gonna surface up more information, so you can see that this dog is a Papillon, and then it'll, you know, give you the usual information of where you took this photo, and this does work for cats as well. So you can see right here, we have a photo of a cat. If we click on it, you'll see that there is now a cat icon instead of the dog icon. And then if you click that again, you'll get that same level of information. And again, it'll even tell you what type of cat it is. Really, really helpful, really cool. But it doesn't stop there because now we're back at our pizza photo and you'll notice that icon has now changed to a fork and knife. And guess what? You hit this, it not only looks it up and recognizes that it's food, but you hit this over here and then this will actually surface recipes for the food that you took a photo of. So that is really cool. Like the Photos app is super intelligent at this point to the point where you could just take a photo of your food and then get recipes for it later. Okay, lastly in photos, you can now use these in your stickers collection. So basically to do this, uh, you just select what you want the sticker to be. So this pizza, we're gonna long press and then we're going to hit add sticker and that is going to put it in this sticker drawer over here. So very easy, very simple. And now when you go into a message, you go to your stickers, you can just drag and drop it right over there. So very simple way to make your own stickers. Another hidden feature in iOS 17 is the fact that you can now see how long it's going to take to download an app. So let's go to the app store. We have all these apps over here. Let's go ahead and download one. Let's tap on that. And then you can see, instead of just a circle progress bar that's loading, you can actually see the estimated time it's going to take to download this app. So you can see that it's one minute and 10 seconds. So this was not available on the App Store before. You just kind of had to guess how long it would take to download an app. And now you get an accurate estimation of how many minutes it's gonna take or how many hours it's gonna take to download an app. Hopefully it's not hours. That means your internet connection is garbage. Okay, another hidden feature in iOS 17 is that you can now control settings with search. So let's go ahead and do a spotlight search. Let's go ahead and look up Wi-Fi. And then you'll see there's this little, you know, shortcuts area for Wi-Fi, but you'll see the toggle right there where you can actually just turn it off instead of going into settings. So you hit that, you turn it off, you hit it again, you turn it back on. And yeah, you can basically just control these settings in iOS 17. It is super quick, super helpful, especially if you're not used to going through the settings app and navigating, or you don't know where all these uh, controls are. You can also now set timers or alarms with search. So again, let's go ahead and hit search, and then let's type in clock, and then you're gonna see on the top, there's two quick actions, either set a timer or add an alarm. Let's go ahead and add the alarm. And you can see, we can actually just set the alarm right there in settings. Uh, we could pick a time for 
uh, let's go 8 a.m., hit done, and bam, we just set an alarm. If you want to set a timer, hit set a timer, and let's set one for 17 minutes and start that right now. And you can see the timer just started in the dynamic island. Speaking of timers, another trick in iOS 17 is the fact that you can now have not only multiple timers, but you can also name these timers. So let's go ahead and click into one of these timers. You'll see there, there's a label right there. And then let's just call this uh, a food timer. We hit done. And you can see it's labeled food. We go into this one, we hit label, and we're gonna call this one video timer. And then we'll call this one pizza timer. So you can see you now can have multiple timers in iOS 17 and you can also name them and you can also have Siri name them as well. So set a timer for steamed artichokes for seven minutes. So you can see I set the timer for seven minutes and I set it for steamed artichokes and it's all named there. So that is awesome. Now this isn't a hidden feature, but this is one I've been using all the time and this video is titled Hidden Features and More. At least I think it is. So let's go ahead and look at how you use interactive widgets. So I have a widget right here, which is the podcast. Let me actually mute this. And you can see, I can hit the play right here and it will start playing the podcast. I don't have to go into the podcast app. I don't have to jump into the page and load it up. I just hit the play button there and it will automatically start playing my podcast. And this has been really, really responsive and really, really fast. Uh, one more little thing I wanna show you is it works with more than just playing uh, media. So I have the reminders widget here and watch this. I have uh, three little reminders right here. Well, I already got my hair cut, so let's check that off. I picked up the milk, um, you know, let's check that off. And well, I didn't edit the video yet, but you know what, we're gonna check that off anyway, just to show you. And look at that, I checked off those reminders right there in the reminders app. And you can just keep checking them off. I think I had multiple ones for pick up milk. Let's check them all out to get that out of there. And look at that, all reminders completed. Didn't even have to go into the reminders app to check those off. So interactive widgets, one of the best features in iOS 17, honestly. Okay, I'm sure a lot of you who have iPhones also have this, an Apple Watch. Now, have you ever had the scenario where you lost your iPhone and then you pinged it on your Apple Watch? Well, what about the inverse? What if you don't know where your Apple Watch is and you wanna find it? Well, thankfully in iOS 17, you can now do that. What you gotta do is you gotta go to settings, you gotta go to control center, and then you scroll down and you will see a new option to ping my watch. Just add that into control center. And now when you go into control center, Scroll all the way down, you'll see there's a new icon for ping my watch. Let's go ahead and ping that. And there it goes. Works just like the iPhone, it's just the inverse of it. So now you can finally ping your Apple Watch. Okay, another feature in iOS 17 is to quickly catch up on messages. So they introduced this as um, a new way. Uh, basically, if you were in a message or a message thread and you missed a bunch of messages and it, you know it's all full up now, there is now an arrow in the top right over here. And if you press that, it will take you to your last read message. So you tap that and it's gonna bring me all the way up to my last read message, which was over here. So yeah, that's basically how it works. Okay, another feature in iOS 17 is the fact that you don't have to say, hey Siri anymore to activate Siri. So basically in settings, you can see now under Siri and search, there is now the option to just say Siri or hey Siri, or if you really wanna turn it off, maybe you're like activating uh, Siri all the time by accident, you could switch it back to hey Siri, but I like that you can just say Siri now to activate Siri. It's a, it's a lot faster. Siri, what's the weather today? Now, another trick is that you can follow up with Siri without activating the Siri catchphrase again. So let's try it again. Siri, what's the weather today? How about for tomorrow? Looks like it will be cloudy tomorrow. In messages, you might've also noticed that they have now changed the way uh, you use the messages apps. So basically they are now tucked away over here in this plus button. And then when you press that plus button, uh, you'll see a list of your apps rather than kind of like that bottom scrolling view. Uh, and if you hit on more, you can obviously see a full uh, list of all the apps that you have available. But the trick here is that you can actually rearrange these. So to rearrange them, you just hold down and drag. And you could basically reposition these uh, however you want. So basically you want your topmost used actions right here on the top. So I'm usually 
sending photos or activating the camera. And I'm usually Apple paying people. So I want those right on top so I can access them all the time. Another kind of hidden feature in iOS 17 is the fact that Safari private browsing tabs are now locked by default and can only be unlocked with Face ID or Touch ID. So basically to do this, just go into Safari, right? You have your tabs, go ahead and hit the private browsing tab and look, it is locked. No one can see your private browsing tabs. All your hidden private browsing information is locked, which is great because I really don't want people to know that I was watching Apple track. That is super embarrassing. I did not want people to know that I was actually watching Apple track. Thank God no one can see that because it is now locked. Another hidden feature in iOS 17 is the fact that you can use Apple's new standby mode without a MagSafe charger. So basically, all you have to do is make sure that the phone is charging. We're gonna take this Anchor Gold Lightning Cable, $100 Gold Lightning Cable. I'm sure you have this in your arsenal, right? You're gonna plug this in to the iPhone's port. We're gonna take this water bottle. We're gonna prop this on its side. And here you can see, standby mode has been achieved. We are not using a wireless charger. It's just propped up in a regular Lightning Cable. So again, you do not need a MagSafe charger to activate this new kind of bedside alarm clock. And then when you are in here, I was a little bit confused at first on how to activate like the different uh, faces for the clock or the different widgets. Basically, all you have to do is kind of like scroll on them to get the different uh, clock faces or different widgets to kind of appear. And you could do it on either side. So that is cool. And then you can also swipe to the side to get more uh, clock faces. So you can get one of photos. You can get one of like this bigger kind of timer thing. And I think that's it. So yeah. That is how you activate the new standby mode without a MagSafe charger. They didn't tell you about that in the presentation, did they? All right, and those are the features that I really like in iOS 17. I hope that you found some features that you didn't know about before, or even if you didn't know about them, hopefully uh, I explained how to use them properly so you're not confused when it's you know your time to install uh, iOS 17 later this fall. Of course, iOS 17 right now is in a developer beta, which Apple pushed out to the public for some reason. So I guess you can download it if you want. I'd probably advise against that though, since it is a little buggy right now. And uh, you know, I'd probably wait either for the public beta or honestly, again, you should probably just wait until the fall. There really is no rush for these features. And when it's released in the fall, all those bugs will be ironed out. You'll get a much smoother experience and nothing, well, I mean, hopefully nothing will go wrong, but hopefully you like this video. If you did, make sure you give me a like. If you wanna see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you all so much for keeping up and uh, watching all my WWDC coverage. It's been a busy week, but it's going to get even busier. So uh, again, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.